throw lane. Winds up shot to goal! Unbelievable! Two seconds to go. Eight seconds. Rangers, a long three. Take it's a walk-off base hit for Michael Smith. It's an Olympico and a goal for Paradise Valley, J.C. Duncan. Well, here's the feed into Rodriguez to jam. p.m. which means it's about time for some college volleyball as Rochester Community and Technical College the number two seed in this tournament but it's their home court the higher seed they take on Harper College in the quarterfinals Harper won the national championship in 2016 and Rochester Community and Technical College won it in 2015 and these fans are excited they're wearing the yellow jacket outfits in the yellow and black, looking like bumblebees in the stands as they look to see RCTC, the number two seed, take care of business against Harper and move on to the semifinals. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough task for RCTC as Harper swept through Queensboro in straight sets as they look to get the upset and advance to the semis. RCTC and Harper coming up next.
and Tim Harlow. And on fourth beat, we have Brenda Holkin and April Suter. Good luck to all the teams. Welcome back to Rochester Regional Sports Center. Thank you so much for the public address announcer helping us out with those announcements. And what was pretty funny is when they were announcing Owens, there were boos from the crowd. I think this crowd feels disrespected that Rochester is the number two seed, even though Rochester only has two losses this season. Those only losses were to Des Moines Area Community College, which plays in Division II, and also to Highland Community College. This is a good Owens team. And when you're the defending Division Three national champions, it's hard to not have them as the number one seed. They were the preseason favorite to win it all. And when you haven't lost more than five games, you only have four losses this season, it's, it's hard to make that jump from putting Rochester into number one and Owens to number two. It really doesn't matter. If you're the best team, Rochester's going to play Owens in the title. But first things first, Owens has to take care of business. And Rochester better be ready to go because this is a really good Harper team that won the national title back in 2016. And they pretty much breezed through Queensboro, Queensboro after a tough first set. They almost lost that one. It was 23-21. After that, it was pretty much all Harper. They took care of business. Straight sets in the 10 a.m. matchup. If Harper's going to win, they're just going to have to go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Rochester and hopefully steal the first set and get the momentum going. Harper is led by head coach Bob Villasay. Harper College, they're known as the Hawks. Rochester Community and Technical College, also known as RCTC. Their fans are wearing the black and yellow, but tonight they'll be wearing the blue and white. Straight up to Harper. Now to the left side. Was going to go out of bounds, but the Yellow Jackets went after it anyways. Harper sees it all the way and watches it go out of bounds. Jules Carcello lets it go out of bounds, and Harper takes an early 1-0 lead, silencing the home crowd. Remember, RCTC is the number two seed, even though it's being played on their home court. That's only because these tournaments are pre-selected and their home sites years in advance. Two nothing lead for the Hawks. Three nothing lead for the Hawks. A service ace from the girls from Palatine. Taylor Fowler, the setter. Still very early, but this crowd can't believe it. They're just dead silent right now as Harper has an early lead. Dug out well by RCTC. Touching the net, point Harper, 4-0 for the Hawks. Remember, you only get two timeouts, but if it gets to be over 5-0, the Yellow Jackets might have to use one of them. A setup play, out of bounds, point Harper. Doesn't matter how hard you hit it, if it's not in bounds, it's point for Harper and the Hawks are jacked up. Especially number seven for the Hawks. Actually 17, Ryder. Sorry, that's number one, Jules Garcello. And we'll take a break with the Hawks up five, nothing. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCAATV.com. The new 5W Prime from Tachikara. Our new T-Tech Micro Leather is engineered to enhance ball control. Tachikara. The new 5W Prime from Tachikara. Our new T-Tech Micro Leather is engineered to enhance ball control. Tachikara. The Harper Hawks up 5-0. And taking the set is number five, Fowler. Waiting for a call, hits the yellow line. Actually, they're going to say it was deflected by number 17 of Harper, Ryder. Vilsoe, not a fan of the call. He thought nobody touched it. 
That's a big call. It could have been 6 nothing Harper. As Vilsoe was still talking to the officials, so they'll have to reset play here. No serve. Taking it for the Yellow Jackets. Haley Dessner, who won Offensive Player of the Week earlier in the season. Rutledge, an All-American last season, two-time Offensive Player of the Week. The Hawks from the Midwest Division with an early 5-0 lead, make it 6-1. And if you're RCTC, you want your home crowd to still be excited. I know they're down 6-1, but this is just playing into the game plan of Harper, silencing this crowd and letting Harper play their own game. Blocked well by Harper. Nothing is phasing the Hawks so far. Dug out. Couldn't get enough on it to get it to her teammates. And a kill for RCTC. Let's see if they can gain some momentum after that. Reckon McCready. A setter on this team will take the serve. They need one of their team leaders to instigate a spark into this team. Right now, Harper with all the momentum. Did it go over to the Harper side? It did not, it was on the RCTC side. Point, Hawks. I was wondering if it was just coach speak when Bill Suey said, I'll see you throughout the tournament. So far, it's looking like a prophecy. Vilsoe's team leads 7-3 in the opening set. Harper in the straight blue jerseys there, libero in the white. RCTC in the dead white. Terrible serve, point Harper. Only one timeout remaining for the Yellow Jackets. I like the idea though there by Ali Mora. Hit the top of the net, have it be a friendly deflection and catch RCTC napping. Agorados can't dig it out, 8-5 in favor of Harper. That time it's a good dig. Now on the Yellow Jacket side. Back out to Harper. Well dug out by the <laughs> libero of RCTC and finishing the kill, Desner. Middle blocker, Desner, a big girl out there. Tough to D up on the opposite side. A five nothing lead is now eight to six. Harper came out red hot, but a key call by the officials saying it went off a Harper player instead of a six only, and a ball went into play, so they'll have to reset. And that's a break for Harper as it looked like it was gonna be a service ace for RCTC. Rutledge, two-time Offensive Player of the Week. McCready also a good player on this RCTC team. Kill attempt blocked by Harper. Front line playing at its finest for Harper. Taps it over. Dug out by the libero, body. Dug out again by Harper. Great dig by Harper's 15. Ali Morong, and now a kill for the Hawks. This time it's Fowler. 9-6 Hawks. Could we see an upset? The first big one of the day, the only upset so far. The nine seed over the eight, but a kill for the Yellow Jackets. Dessner, middle blocker with the kill. A stoppage in play. Vilsoe not credited with a timeout. 
Asa will go to the bench. 9-7 lead for Harper, but remember, it was a 5-0 lead. And of course, RCTC has not led at all in the opening set. Dug out well, beautifully done by Agaranos. Blocked well by Harper, no double hit. Now to the Yellow Jacket side. Kill attempt, blocked well. Goes out of bounds, point Yellow Jackets. It's a big game as KAAL, KAAL TV and a couple other news outlets are here in Rochester, Minnesota. Dug out well by Agaranos. Kill attempt, blocked well by the Yellow Jackets. Oh, a beautiful dig by four, Storm. Now on the Harper end. Frontline play for Harper, can't get it over. And for the first time, it's tied since it was 0-0. Yellow Jackets, their chance for their first lead of the game. A surprising 5-0 start by Harper, but now they gotta find a way to get the lead back and keep it. Backline play to the middle, now to the top, can't get it over. First lead of the day for the Yellow Jackets. Timeout, Bob Bilsoe as he sees it coming away from his team. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCAATV.com. Every student athlete has a team and a team behind that team. There are coaches, trainers, teachers, parents, friends, and each teammate shares the same goal, to provide athletes with the support and skills to succeed while staying healthy and safe. At Relation Insurance, we're proud to be a part of your support team. We provide customizable insurance solutions that can help colleges and universities protect athletes, manage risk, and stay ahead of the game. Go team! Rochester Regional Sports Center. If you're just joining us, Harper had a 5-0 lead in this opening set, but RCTC has been unfazed, coming right back, now lead by one. Can Harper regroup after the timeout? Point, Yellow Jackets. Another point for the Yellow Jackets, a service ace. It's now 12-9 in favor of RCTC. Out of bounds, point for Harper. Substitutions coming in. Candifer comes in for the libero, Agaranos whose favorite food is both pizza and mac and cheese, and she loves Taco Bell. Man to be 18 years old again. I wish I could have Taco Bell all the time. Candifer. Kill Candifer. Harper College, led by their head coach, Bob Vilsoe. He loves softball. He still plays. We're all tied at 12. This might be the game of the day, but don't forget about Owens against Jefferson. It's just a 16-12 lead for Owens on 4A. 12-12. Blocked well. Harper sticking with the number two team of the tournament. 
And a setting error by Harper, and that's number 17. Substitution for Harper, the libero comes back in, Agaranos, just soon as takes a seat. The opposing libero, Bodie, takes the serve on the Harper end. Out of bounds. A 5-0 score became 12-9, now it's 13-13. Frontline play for RCTC, kill RCTC. Desner, middle blocker, kill for Desner. Coming in, settles, leads everybody with 599 kills. Rutledge with 501. But most importantly, consistency is key for Rutledge. Leads everybody in Division Three at 4.91 kills per set. But a key service error. 14-14 the score. And coming back in off the bench is Asa. And a service error this time by Ryder. The Yellow Jackets leading by one on their home court. Dug out well by Harper's Agoranos. Kill attempt, but Desner there to dig it out. Oh, what a block, what a dig there by Ryder getting it over. A little tap over the net. Now still at the front of the net. Did it stay in bounds? It did. Reckon McCready will take the serve. She had a service there earlier. Dug out well by Harper's Asa. Double hit, kill for Candifer. Candifer goes to the bench. Jasunas back in. Dug out well by Agaranos. Now to the back line of the Yellow Jackets. Bodie with a dig. Double hit. Harper, point, Yellow Jackets. Rotation and a substitution. Two subs for RCTC as Bodie goes to the bench, as does her teammate number six, Halma Halmasco. Point for Harper. Serving error by RCTC. Harper's Ali Moron will take it. Kathleen Alimoran, wearing number 15, a setter and a sophomore for the Hawks. Oh, what a dig by Ali Moran in the opening set. Gets it over the net. Down by one is Harper. Oh, what a dig there by Agaranos. Find space, does number five carry Rutledge. And what else would you expect by the most consistent killer in NJCAA Division III play? Rutledge will take the serve. Harper will go with a scattered defensive look, one in the corner. Harper trying to answer, and they do. A kill, this time it's to Asa. And Asa will take the serve, 18-17. Teeter, totter, volleyball tonight. Natalie Asa will take the serve. Number two against number seven. Winner to the semis. Asa can't get it over the net. Service error against number 21. Carcello comes back in. Her favorite movie is Hairspray. But she didn't say which one she likes. Is it the one with Nikki Blocksky or the one with Ricky Lake? Both are great in my opinion. The one with Blonsky is... Uh, 
Second, oh, uh, Brittany Snow's in it. Over the net, as is Michelle Pfeiffer in that movie. Harper trying to play mistake-free volleyball. That time, that bump attempt went too far and out of the reach of Ryder. 2017 advantage for RCTC. Tying their biggest lead of the opening set. They led as much as 12-9 earlier. Still alive. Blocked well. Ali Morong. Now Harper trying to set something up. Still alive. They're going to say illegal hit against Harper. They can't believe it. 21-17. And you were wondering why RCTC is number two. Were they a little bit overrated? Should they be playing on their home court? Well, they're showing why they deserve to be playing on their home court. Unfazed by that early 5-0 deficit. But don't go anywhere. Harper answers. 21-18. Bauer in. As is Candifer. Bauer. A freshman outside hitter. Candifer also a freshman. So many freshmen on this team. To the front line. Blocked. Can't keep it in play. Point for our CTC. Harper will do a substitution. Agaranos in for Jasunas. RCTC three points away from an opening set victory. Out of play, now two points away. Vilsoe had one more timeout and he'll use it here with his team down by five at 23-18. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCAATV.com. here at Rochester Regional Sports Center as the Yellow Jackets up 23-18. They even have a mascot with red and black makeup and a bumblebee scarf and a yellow tat, a yellow tutu. They love their Yellow Jackets here at Rochester Regional Sports Center. Ken Harper come all the way back. Point. RCTC went over the net but went out of bounds. Game point for the Yellow Jackets. Harper's got to keep getting points and tie it up at 24. Bodie waiting for the fans to quiet it down. And now they're going to talk about that last point. Sure looked like they got it right. It went off the top of the net, but then it went past the yellow tape on the left-hand side, which, of course, is out of play. Things really changed for Harper after they were up 5-0, a potential 6-0 lead. Bob Vilsoe once again can't stand it. Two times it's gone against his team. This time, I really believe they got the call right. The other time, a little bit controversial. Second hit. Now the third one. Candiver kill attempt. Dug out well by RCTC. Oh, what a dig by Agaranos. Still in play. 
In play, point, Harper. Taking the serve will be Taylor Fowler, the freshman setter. Now Harper, the fan base from about five hours away trying to pump up their team. And an ace for Fowler. Now they need four more points to force extra volleyball in the opening set. Biggest lead of the opening set was two points ago when it was 24-18 RCTC. Dug out well by Bodie. Yellow Jackets trying to finish it off. Did it go off the yellow tape? It did. We're going to look at a replay, but it sure looked like they got it right. As, as you can see here, kill attempt for RCTC. Does it hit yellow? Let's see if we can maybe slow it down a second. Bump. Set, spike, good call. Good call by the officials, and that does it for the first set. 25-20 in favor of RCTC. Coming up next, the second set. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television here on NJCAATV.com. Every student athlete has a team, and a team behind that team. There are coaches, trainers, teachers, parents, friends, and each teammate shares the same goal to provide athletes with the support and skills to succeed while staying healthy and safe. At Relation Insurance, we're proud to be a part of your support team. We provide customizable insurance solutions that can help colleges and universities protect athletes, manage risk, and stay ahead of the game. Go team! Fans of today's game, make sure to keep up with the latest news and updates regarding NJCAA Volleyball by visiting the official website of the National Junior College Athletic Association at www.njcaa.org. Once again, that website, njcaa.org. And also make sure to order your official 2019 NJCAA Women's Division III Volleyball Championship merchandise online at the NJCAA store. Visit shop.njcaa.org to view exclusive national championship and NJCAA merchandise, excuse me, for your first order. You can receive 10% off using the promo code WELCOME10, and all orders under $75 receive free shipping. Visit shop.njcaa.org and order your official championship gear today. Once again, that promo code are the words WELCOME and 10, W-E-L-C-O-M-E, -E, letters T-E-N. Well, in the opening set, Harper gave him a scare up 5 nothing, but the number two seed, RCTC, who entered the season as number four overall in the country, they came right back and won at 25-20. It wasn't without controversy, though, as two give-or-take calls, one of them, Bob Vilsaway, understandably was questioning the call if it went off one of his players. They're saying it did, as they even have a fat head in the crowd. But what I was saying is Harper was up 5 nothing, and the ball clearly went out of bounds, but they're saying it went off a defender of Harper, so that's a misdirection and a clean point for RCTC. And after that, they went on a run, won at 25-20, and the set ended with RCTC hitting the, yelp, hitting the white line on the kill, 25-20, let's see what adjustments Bob Vilsoe and Harper decides to make. And they saw the starting lineup that Rochester had, they didn't like it, so they take out Jasunas, and they put the libero back in. They're starting libero. Number three, Agaranos. They started off set number one, five nothing. How do they start set number two? Back to the Harper end. Kill attempt, out of bounds, point RCTC. It 
If Harper wants to pull off the upset, they can't go down 2-0. Any team, it's hard to come back from 2-0, but especially RCTC. One won the tie here at Rochester Regional Sports Center. Served well by Rochester. Trying to spike it over the net. Now 3-1 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Can Harper hang on and split it? That's one thing that's ailing Rochester today. Way too many service errors. Haley Desner with her second one of the day. This is Harper's second game. Will fatigue become a factor? They had a 10 a.m. game. Good news for Harper is they swept that. Kill for RCTC on the dig attempt for Harper is Fowler. Going to the bench for the Yellow Jackets is Storm, defensive specialist. Successful over the net. Once again, RCTC struggling with the service air. Gets it over, great dig by Agaranos. Ali Morong, setting air, point, Yellow Jackets. Another fat head, showing off Rutledge. Looking for her second straight All-American notification. 6-2, RCTC. Assuming RCTC wins, they would play the winner of Jamestown against Columbus State. Columbus State, led by Bobby Diamond. If not for Rutledge and Settle, she'd be leading Division Three in kills. Remember, Harper is very familiar with Owens. Now that's way down the line, but they almost beat Owens earlier in the season. First things first, Harper's got a win tonight and they're already down 6-3. Block, attempt by Harper. Unsuccessful, point, RCTC, as they'll go to the bench for substitutions. RCTC led by head coach Amber Zitzow, assistants Tori Johnson and Haley Lenz. Up 7-3. The only adversity they saw in this game, a 5-0 deficit in set number one. Waiting for the call, it was definitely in bounds. Point. Harper, substitution, Yellow Jackets. Anne-Marie Halmosco back into the game. She apologize, she leaves. And McCready back in. McCready joining forces with Kleist on the front line. Harper serving it is Rothenberg. Out of bounds, point, Hawks. 7-5 in favor of RCTC. Another serve for Rothenberg, the sophomore. Good enough to go to the middle part of the RCTC team. Kill RCTC. Last time they played Rochester Community and Technical College, they got swept. That time from RCTC goes out of bounds. They got swept 25-19, 25-18, Can they even this one up going into the third set? They trail by two in set number two. Setting something up, spike attempt, just goes straight up with it instead. 
kill. Yes, RCTC. Desner so lethal on the front line for RCTC. Kleist will take a seat. Storm comes back in. Harper goes to the bench. Bauer will take a seat. Harper, nobody sits. Everybody's standing for the Harper Hawks. Candifer gets it over the net. Spike attempt. Now to the front line. Candifer. This is not their fourth hit because they had a block. Did it hit the yellow? It did. See if we can get a replay on it. I think they got the call right. They did. Served by Harper. Jess goes over the net. Harper trailing by two. Can RCTC answer? Bumped well. Ball at the front line. Harper, yes! Kill! Harper, 17, Ryder. Light up the Jumbotron and put another kill on her stat sheet. Harper sticking with the number two team of the country. Just barely, but it does go over the net. Kill attempt. Just barely got the white line. They're not making it easy on the referees today. It seems like every kill is going off the white line. We do have instant replay today. We got the GoPro. Rotation air. Harper. 11-8 in favor of RCTC. Actually, they're going to call Ryder for touching the net. Every time Harper gets within a point of tying it, RCTC goes on a 2-0 run. Did it stay in? It did. Point. Harper. Ryder. Kill. Ryder again on the serve. Back out to Bodie. Kill, Harper. This time it's Rothenberg. On a 2-0 run is Harper looking to tie this one up in set number two. Rothenberg. Ball at the front line. Kill attempt. Well defended by Harper. That was a nice looking play there by Dessner. Misdirects it at the last second off her palm and keeps Harper guessing. 12 10, two point edge for RCTC. At the front line now, partially blocked by Candifer. Setting air, RCTC. Candifer goes to the bench. Rujila Jasunas back in. Candifer to the bench who wants to be a graphic communications major once she transfers. But she doesn't have transferring on her mind. She has winning a national championship on her mind right now as does RCTC. Rutledge with the kill. She's had a pretty quiet night, but when they need her most, she delivers. And that time when Harper seemed to be having the momentum, RCTC gains it right back, up by two. In the middle. To the front line. Setting it up for Rutledge. Mishandles it. Point, Harper. Ali Moran 
on the serve. Kill attempt. Trying to block it is Jasunas and can't. Point, RCTC. Bob Vilsoe alongside Jeannie Berens, Kathy, Kathy Rinella, and Mario Lugo deciding to keep their timeouts till the end. Ball at the front line. Rutledge, yes! Another kill on Rutledge's impressive stat sheet. 15-12, Yellow Jackets. Gabby Spites on the serve. Ball at the front line. Kill attempt. Harper, kill Harper. Substitution for RCTC. Rothenberg on the serve. And a couple of guys go onto the court and they gotta get off quickly. The RCTC fans, they're ruthless. They're booing the fans. You can't boo the fans. They're booing Owens. Now they're booing the fans going on the court. Out of bounds, point, Harper. Yeah, when they did the public address announcing of introducing Owens, since this is their first game in the tournament as they had a bye. Yes, at RCTC. The RCTC fans were booing Owens. They're not even playing to Owens and they're booing him. Kill. Yellow Jackets. Rutledge again. Carcello into the game. Rothenberg takes a seat. Keeping it in, almost gets the kill, but a last second dig by the Hawks. 16-14, kill. Desner and the Yellow Jackets. Still quiet from Bob Bilsoe and Harper. When it gets to the 20s, he'll call a timeout. It's just so hard to play two games in one day, especially when the higher seeded team got a break. But Harper's sticking in there, they're down by two. But hanging around is different than actually winning the sets. Not only do you tie it, but you gotta get a, a lead in more than one point to put the pressure on the home team. It also doesn't help that RCTC has their home crowd, not just their parents and their friends, but you know, people they don't even know that love this Rochester community. Blocked, point, Rochester. Maldi Kleist on the point. Block shot for Kleist and she'll take a seat. Jessica Storm. Every time Harper gets within striking distance, the Yellow Jackets are there to answer. Over the net it goes, onto the Harper side. Harper, did it stay in? It did, point, Harper, kill, Harper. They get a lot of kills, does this Harper team. Not the most consistent as 10.41 kills percent, a hitting percentage of 152, but they've had a really tough schedule this year and they're trying to bank on that, that they're ready for tough teams. They played Rochester, they played Owens, they know them. Can they beat them? When the spotlight, it's at its finest. Down by two. The spotlight is on both Harper and RCTC. Who will deliver? Ball at the front line. Point. Number 12, Klandifer. Klandifer actually thought it went out of bounds. RCTC. Didn't even argue it as they must have seen the ball partially hit that white. Just like tennis, all it's gotta do is partially hit the line. 18-17. Ali Morong gets it over, taps it. Now back over to the Yellow Jacket side. 
Killeton. Well read by Agarano. It's out of bounds. Harper. Cannot show their frustration. Got to keep playing hard. Ali Morong smiles on her face. Look, if Harper loses this game, they've got nothing to be sad about. They're playing the number two team in the country. And not only that, they got to play them on their home court and not on neutral turf. But it's still the second set. If you win this set, it's anybody's game. You're down 2-0. So tough to come back against RCTC. Kill! Yellow Jackets. Anne-Marie Halmasco. Now at the front line, Candifer tried to get the kill, but it was blocked by Halmasco. Also credit McCready on that block. Out to the front line now. Partially blocked to the back line. <laughs> Ball was just too low to dig it out. Point Harper, 2019 in favor of RCTC. Ball at the front line. Goes off the wall. Point, RCTC. Timeout. Oh, I thought that Vilsoe was going to call timeout. Decides not to, and I thought he would. Down by two. According to the NJCAA, they had Fuggle and Wemple on the team, but they both left. Those were those... Their two leading scorers and kills. Might have transferred Division I institution. As this is a well-known program at Harper, they won the national championship in 2016. Timeout called by Bob Vilsoe. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCAATV.com. We appreciate everybody watching this broadcast. Most of you are probably from the Chicagoland area as Harper's located in Palatine, but all their players are from the suburbs and possibly the city. And we also appreciate Tashi Kara sponsoring the NJCAA. They're the official volleyball of the NJCAA, and they've generously provided all balls for NJCAA National Championship play for over 30 years. Thank you so much to Tashi Kara. You've got the ball, and you bring the game. Kill Harper. Jasunis off the bench. Still got a long way to go. They're down by two. And most importantly, RCTC has 22 points. Ali Morong, service air, 23-20 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. On court A, Owens, the number one seed, looking to finish off Jefferson for the sweep.
kill attempt. Well defended by the Yellow Jackets. Kill, Yellow Jackets, Rutledge. She's just too tough. 24-20 for the Yellow Jackets, game point. And this could be the dagger as I just don't see Harper coming back down two sets to zero. Goes over to the Rutledge and RCTC sign. Ball at the front line now. Harper trying to get it over and they do but defended it well again by the Yellow Jackets. Rally scoring continues. Can't get it over the net. Point, game, Yellow Jackets. They lead two sets to zero. We'll take a break. Coming up next, the third set. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCATVA.com. The new 5W Prime from Tachikara. Our new T-Tech Micro Leather is engineered to enhance ball control. Tachikara. The new 5W Prime from Tachikara. Our new T-Tech Micro Leather is engineered to enhance ball control. Tachikara. The third and possibly the deciding set of this one is I just don't know how Harper can come back. Everything is against them. The lower seed, they're on the road. It's on RCTC's home court. And most importantly, Carrie Rutledge, whenever they need her, she delivers. A high and powerful spike that she has. It's so hard to read and defend. So we'll see what happens. We appreciate everybody watching. We appreciate Tashi Kara for being the official volleyball of the NJCAA. Tashi Kara, we've got the ball. You bring the game. By the way, you can also check us out, NJCAA TV on NJCAATV.com, on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Android TV, and Roku streaming platforms. NCAA Championship TV, the official digital video network of the NJCAA. So Rochester doesn't like what they see in the starting lineup and they decide to go to the bench. Olivia Fred Freddy goes to the bench. 
There, Libera will take the serve. Bodie. Kill, Harper. Definitely the start they wanted as the kill is to Ryder. What's so tough for them is they got to win three straight sets. But you can't think of that. You just got to take it one point at a time. And something you also have to think about, yeah, we're down 2-0, but also they got to win another set. As long as we keep winning and putting points on the board, we don't go home. That's what you got to think about. You can't get 25 points at once, and you can't get three sets at once. All you can do is play it one point at a time, one serve at a time, one spike at a time. Officials not ready. Destner tried to serve it over the net. We're all tied at one here in the third set. Harper. Going with a scattered defensive alignment. Now back to the Harper end to Agoranos. Point and kill. Ryder. Kelsey Bauer will check in for Harper. Carcello will go to the bench. Really not much of a bench, there's just chairs, but still. The Harper College Hawks trying to win their first set of the quarterfinal. Bob Vilsoe just gives up on the play and just touches it. As he knew that nobody was going to take that one out. Tied at two. If Harper loses, they'll play for seventh place. Ran out of real estate, point, RCTC. Gabby Spites. Point, Harper. Spoitz was on the serve, but somebody touched the net for the Yellow Jackets. And another point for Harper. This time it's a kill. Harper is stuck with the Yellow Jackets, but once it gets to the 20s, the Yellow Jackets are good at finishing off opponents. Point, RCTC. The Yellow Jacket team that started off slow and then they got refocused. It's been all Yellow Jackets after a 5 0 bad start of the opening set. Kill. Rutledge. If you're Owens, if you're Columbus State, you better key on on this girl. She knows how to get it done on the floor. Taps it over the net, back to Harper. Now on the RCTC side, shot over the net by the Yellow Jackets. Ali Moron sets it up for Agaranos. Now to RCTC, kill attempt, kill, Rutledge, unstoppable force on the floor. You almost have to put three girls in front of the net to block her shots. You have to wonder what adjustments Columbus State 
Owens and other teams will try to make when they match up with RCTC as it looks like Harper has just run out of options against Rutledge and Dessner. 8-4 advantage for RCTC, looking to finish off the sweep. Service ace, Spites. Fans of today's game, you can follow all the action of the 2019 NJCAA Fall Sport National Championships live on NJCAA TV. That includes live and archive soccer, volleyball, and football. Touch the net, point RCTC. Harper's not going to go down without a fight. A kill for Bauer. Now how much more do they have left? They're down 10-5. to five. They're down two sets to zero. Just how much more do they have in terms of energy, in terms of optimism, and in terms of talent to match up with RCTC? Setting it up for Rutledge. Finally, Harper answers with a dig. Good block. Joining forces, Bauer and Candifer. Candifer, favorite TV show, Merlin, favorite movie, John Tucker must die. Served well over the net by Harper. Now on the RCTC side, kill Rutledge. If you were wondering if she's gonna be another All-American just like she did her freshman year last season, you can bet she's gonna be an All-American. Rutledge serving, can she get an ace? Almost does, hits the top of the net and then comes back to the Yellow Jacket side. Rutledge, the constant professional, not a lot of smiles, as focused as Kyle Hendricks looks when he's pitching for the Cubs. Bump straight up, tapped over the net, blocked well by Candifer. Set up again, another block by Candifer. Third chance. Dug out well by Agoranos. And spikes it into the net. Timeout, no sorry, substitution coming for Harper. Garcello into the game. Bauer will take a seat. Storm out there. Taking the serve. Dug out well by Carcello. Carcello and Agaranos were both defensive players of the week. Trailing by four is Harper. Can defer to the bench to get some water in her system. Calling for the potential kill and she gets it. Thirteen eight advantage for Rochester Community and Technical College. Served by the libero. Body. Kill attempt. Oh, what a block there by Storm. Another chance. Still in play. Now on the Harper end. Gets it over. Dug out. By Rochester. Harper trying to hang in there. Block. Point. Yellow Jackets. And Marie Halmasco. And that most likely will be our relation insurance play of the game. 14-8 advantage to Rochester. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCAATV.com. Every student athlete has a team. 
and a team behind that team. There are coaches, trainers, teachers, parents, friends, and each teammate shares the same goal, to provide athletes with the support and skills to succeed while staying healthy and safe. At Relation Insurance, we're proud to be a part of your support team. We provide customizable insurance solutions that can help colleges and universities protect athletes, manage risk, and stay ahead of the game. Go team! <laughs> As Harper's number 11, Jasunis, couldn't do anything with it, tried to kick it over the net, see if the officials weren't watching. Back over the net to Harper, kill for Harper, but they're down by so many points with so few time to come back. Kill attempt. Halmasco, an underdog story. A role player coming up huge for RCTC. The middle blocker, now this has been the Rutledge show, but they've also had some big time points coming from Halmasco. 16-9 advantage for RCTC. Kill, RCTC. Rochester, 90 attacks, 37 kills. A hit percentage of 311. Desner on the serve. Kill, Rutledge. Served by Desner, 19-9. It's becoming a blowout in set number three. Now 20-9. And Vilsoe knows it's over, but he's gonna call timeout and try to reassure his players they've got nothing to be worried about and nothing to be sad about. RCTC should be able to finish off Harper when we come back. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCATV.com. Winds up shot to goal! Unbelievable! Two seconds to go. Eight seconds. Rangers, a long three. Oh, oh, my goodness. It's a walk-off base hit for Michael Smith. It's an Olympico and a goal for Paradise Valley, J.C. Duncan. Well, here's the feed into Rodriguez to jam. Here at 
Rochester Regional Sports Center, a 29 advantage for Rochester Community and Technical College. Make sure to check out our live and archive broadcast for soccer, volleyball, and football, njcaatv.com. Five points, and RCTC advances to the semifinal. They'll play the winner of the game after this, Columbus State against Jamestown. Kill Rutledge. 21 kills for Rutledge. Back over to the Rochester side. Rutledge. Out of bounds. Service air against Harper. Down by 12 are the Hawks. Rutledge with 21 kills. What a game by Rutledge. He was just too much to handle for the Hawks. And quite frankly, she's going to be tough to handle for any team, which includes the number one seed, Owens. Harper. Just gonna get as many points as they can and try to stay in it and hope for the best. No kill, setting air by Harper. Serve to McCready. Touching the net was Halmasco. Candifer will come back in. Ryder leading Harper with nine kills. Candifer with five. 21 kills for Rutledge on four airs. Total attempts for a 405 hitting percentage for Rutledge. Rutledge, powerful spike. Oh, I don't know about that one. Let's see if we can get a replay on that. I, I thought that went out of bounds. Harper hit the net, so it doesn't matter. Game point, set point. For RCTC. Kill! For number five, Rutledge. Set, RCTC. Match, RCTC. Straight sets victory for RCTC. And on their home court, they advance to the semifinals tomorrow night. As Mr. Buck would say, Jack Buck, we'll see you tomorrow night. RCTC to the semifinals. Harper goes to the loser's bracket. We'll take a break. Coming up next, the Relation Insurance play the game. You're watching NCAA, NJCAA Championship Television on NJCATV.com. Welcome back to Rochester Regional Sports Center as we'll wrap up this one with the Relation Insurance play of the game. Now we have a GoPro camera on the net. We appreciate Relation Insurance for sponsoring this. Relation Insurance is the endorsed athletic insurance provider of the NJCAA. So this is the instant replay of it. It was 13-8 in favor of Harper and a huge block 
by Anne Marie Halmasco. And we're going to keep looping this play because just watch how great Halmasco is, is reading it all the way, joining forces with Rutledge and also McCready to get the block and just get a key point to finish off Harper. It was 14 8 at that point. And I think Harper knew look, we just can't stop Rutledge. We can't stop Dester. We tried our hardest. We were up 5 0 in the first set. But it wasn't just those two. It was the role players, like as you can see with Hal Mosco, a huge block and becoming a kill on the play inadvertently. And that's just what did in Harper today. They're the seventh seed, a very good team, won the national championship 2016. But this RCTC team, I would be shocked if they're not in the championship game on Saturday night. So for Kaiser DeCamp, Nick Johnson, I'm Kyle Smith signing off. Coming up next, the quarterfinal between Jamestown and the number three seed at Columbus State College team. You're watching NJCAA Championship Television on NJCATV.com.